Hi everyone! Welcome back. We're going to be doing another um, differential equation problem today, also known as separable equations. It looks like this. dy over dx is equal to 2x times the square root of y minus 1. The reason that this is a differential equation or separable equation problem is because you can see that we have x and y variables on both sides, obviously uh, x and y here, but also x and y over here on the right side. So the whole point of this problem is to separate the equations, the variables out from each other, get y's on one side, x's on the other side, uh, integrate both sides of the equation, and then uh, simplify, setting the equation equal to y. So let's go through that, those steps. The first thing we need to do is separate the variables. So our goal is to get x is on the right side, y is on the left side. And the way that we're going to do that, first thing, multiply dx by both sides. So we're going to end up with dy equals 2x times the square root of y minus 1 dx. Then we're going to divide both sides by the square root of y minus 1 so that that moves over here. We'll be left with x is over here and y is over here. So we have dy over the square root of y minus 1 equals 2x dx. So we've successfully completed the first step. You can see we have y's on the left side, x is on the right side. So now what we want to go ahead and do is integrate both sides. So let's just go ahead and we can do this as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. So we go ahead and integrate both sides. Um, I'm going to simplify this side. If you remember uh, the square root of anything is the same thing, so the square root of x is the same thing as x to the one-half. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to the integral of dy over y minus 1 to the one-half equals the integral of 2x dx. Uh, I'm also going to change this now um, so that y minus 1 to the one-half is in the numerator instead of in the denominator because that'll make it easier to work with. The way that we do that, if you remember from previous videos, we just change the sign on the exponent. So right now we have a positive one half on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and move this whole thing to the top and change this to a negative one half. So what it'll look like is the integral of y minus 1 to the negative one half dy equals integral of 2x dx. So this is something that's easier for me to integrate and if I ever have the option to do this I like to do it instead of working with something like this. This is much easier for me so I always go ahead and move it to the top if I can. So now that we've simplified to this point um, we can go ahead and integrate. The way that we're going to do that is uh, on the left side of course, we always add 1 to the exponent first, right? So let's go ahead and leave this y minus 1 inside. We add 1 to the exponent, so negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. And then we divide the coefficient, which is an implied 1, by the new exponent, which is 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this right here. Of course, 1 divided by 1 half is 2. So this actually simplifies to 2 out here. So we've successfully integrated the left side. We're going to go ahead and integrate the right side. The integral of 2x is x squared. And then we always add c to the right-hand side of the equation with the x's to account for the constant that may have been there. So we've integrated this equation. Now, um, remember we said before we were going to separate the, the variables, y's on one side, x on the other, then integrate both sides. And then the final step would be taking this equation and solving for y. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and erase this up top so that we have room. So we have this equation. Let's go ahead and write it up here so it's easier. 2 times y minus 1 to the 1 half equals x squared plus c. Okay, so we need to solve this for y. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is get this 2 out of here. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. I'm also going to change this back. Um, y minus 1 to the 1 half, remember, is the same thing as the square root of y minus 1. So I'll say the square root of y minus 1. So I've converted that. And I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2 so that this moves over to the right side. So we'll have x squared plus c. And of course, we have to put the entire right side over 2. Now, uh, as we continue to, to try to solve for y, we're going to go ahead and square both sides of the equation because if we square a square root, then the square root symbol will go away. So we've squared both sides. We'll end up with y minus 1 equals x squared plus c over 2 squared. And then to solve for y, obviously the only thing we have left to do is add 1. So equals 1 plus x squared plus c over 2, and that whole thing squared. The only thing I see that we could do to possibly simplify, you could leave it just like this, and that, and that would suffice as your final answer. If you'd like to, you can simplify this. Since we have a, a 2 here on the bottom and squared, we can change that to y equals 1 plus, pull out a 1 fourth, because uh, 1 fourth squared would obviously be 1 half, which is this 2 on the bottom and then just do x squared plus c squared. So I don't know which form you like better and which you think is simpler, but both of them are the same thing. Um, either one will work uh, as an answer on your homework or your test. So um, that's your final answer.